Wish your day. Welcome to science lesson for P3 students with me, Miss Rosa. Today we're going to have a new discussion in chapter 4 about parts of plants and humans. Are you ready? Let's start. In this chapter, you're going to have three lessons. The first one, parts of plants, growing healthy plants, and the third one, human organs. Let's see one by one. Parts of plants. In this lesson, you are going to describe the function of roots, leaves, stem, and flowers of flowering plants. You can open the student's book, page 52 until 54. So here, I have two different types of plants. The first one, right, this plants don't have any flowers, while this one, the plants have flowers. So here are non-flowering plants and here are flowering plants let's see the parts of the flowering plants the first one right these are roots so the roots hold the plants firm to the ground and also absorb water and mineral from the soil second we have the green things right that's the leaves so the leaves here make the food for the plant so the photosynthesis can happen on the leaves so with the help from the sunlight the plants can make their own food and then we also have the fruit right so some fruits can be eaten but some not and then we also have another part yes this one right that's the stem so the stem keeps the plant upright and also transport water and nutrition from the roots to all the parts of the plant and also transport the food from the leaves to the whole plants and then we have the brightly colored here right those are flowers so the flowers help the plants to reproduce now let's continue the lesson b growing healthy plants in this lesson you are going to learn that plants need suitable condition to be healthy learn to identify the risks and explain how to be safe during practical work and the last one learn to predict possible result of a scientific activity so you can open the student's book page 55 until 61 how does light affect plant growth so here you are going to have an observation about the plants that place to different places so in this result the sunlight will affect the plants plants placed with no sunlight will grow taller than the plants with the sunlight place but here this plant are is not healthy so plants will find the sunlight and plants with enough sunlight will have healthy leaves can you see the difference here is uh, yellow leaves but here green leaves and then how does temperature can affect the plant growth so the first one in a high temperature and the second one is the low temperature so temperature affects how the plants grow plants need suitable temperature different plants will grow in different temperature and next how does water affect the plant growth so if you see here this plants is enough water and here not enough water so plants need water to stay alive stay firm and they can make food if a plant doesn't have enough water it will be begin to wilt and the plants may die if there is no water now let's continue about the human organs so in this lesson you are going to name different organs in the human body and explain the function of different organs in the human body you can open the student's book page 63 until 67 okay can you take a look for this picture that's the model of the parts of human organs let's start for the first one from the top right that's the brain so next we also have here lungs and then here behind so next to the uh, lungs we have the heart and then here we have stomach 
and here we have the small intestine and the last one here is the large intestine parts of the human body that found inside we call it organ now let's see the function brain the brain controls other organs by sending messages to them and then we also have heart so the heart takes blood rich in oxygen from the lungs and pumps it to different parts of the body it also takes blood rich in carbon dioxide from the parts of the body and pumps it into the lungs so the next one we have lungs yes the lungs here help us to breathe so uh, when we breathe the oxygen moves in our lungs next one we have stomach here this the food that we eat will be mixed with the acid and here the stomach will digest our food and then we have small intestine small intestine here will continue digest the food and then the body will absorb the digested food and then next the large intestine in this part you, uh, the food will be absorbed so I mean the the large intestine will absorb the water from the undigest, undigested food. So that's all for our lesson in this chapter. Is it clear everyone? Thank you for paying attention to this video. Let's continue our lesson in the class. See you everyone. Bye.